I'm not sure I should have won this speedrunning race. I, I mean, I should have killed the dragon. Like, that should have happened. But I'm not sure what happened in the end. I thought the other guy was going to win. I don't really know. I had to make a couple interesting decisions, though, because we're racing. And I, I thought that was kind of cool. There's So this is called ranked speedrunning, right? Where you race other people to see who the better speedrunner is. And there's a tournament going on at the end of this season of ranked speedrunning. But only the top 100 players get in. I'm not in the top 100 players, but I think it would be so cool to get there. I mean, I'm not going to win. That's for sure. But I think it would be so cool to just make it there. That would be an accomplishment. I've been on a massive losing streak lately. Actually, lately, I've been slowly climbing out of the massive losing streak. And I won't tell you what rank I am currently because I don't remember, but we'll see it at the very end. I think we're, we might be able to make top 100. I think we can do it. But it also depends on like who you're playing. The opponent I played before this forfeited in the first three minutes and i guess that's kind of a skill of in and of itself like how long can you persevere if you die in a run are you gonna try to make the comeback i don't even like know how good the people are they should be relatively close to my skill level just based off like the elo system of like ranking how good you are we've both gotten advancements pretty close to each other so like in the chat you'll see like we both got acquired hard work which is getting iron we both got that almost at the identical time and in the top right it says opponent started match that'll change as we get like updates so when you enter the nether it'll say opponent entered the nether so you can kind of see who's a little bit faster i'm gonna enter the nether right now psych i mess up my portal and turn it into obsidian so i have to go find another spot just i'm just hoping at this point that my opponent makes the same mistake as well i think i was ahead in getting advancements up until this point and i found another spot where i can build my portal but it's kind of funky it's a two by one and i misplaced some blocks i really don't want to mess this up so it's it's very slow but our opponent just got hot stuff as well which is uh, getting lava bucket so we're both making our portal at basically the same time nothing crazy there but what is crazy is we spawn next to a fortress well, sort, sort, it's sort of crazy. So, with ranked speedrunning, lots of Minecraft speedrunning is just like you need decent luck to play the game pretty fast. So, in ranked matches, you're like guaranteed two structures relatively close to you. And I'm not sure if this is true, but I've heard that the Bastion, which is the first thing we need, need to get to, that's what I'm trying to find, is connected to where you spawn in via air blocks. So there's some way to get to it. That's why I checked down that passageway. It's looking like it's going to dead end, though, so I'm just going to kind of send it into this fortress and hope that there's something here. I, I see that a path curves in the direction that I scanned the Bastion was in using my, my debug menu. So I, I recheck, and it is indeed in this direction, and there's a cave here. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, this probably leads to, to a Bastion. It might not, though. I'm not sure if a fortress's tunnel counts as air blocks because it's like a structure. And I'm just really concerned at this point that I'm just going to be digging straight into a wall for the next minute or two. Something I have done before in ranked matches. You lose like two, three, four minutes. But we have found the Bastion, which is nice. And I recognize that it's one called Housing. I'm like, ooh, Housing, that's a cool one but you don't normally enter the bastion from this direction. So I get a little bit confused. I'm just gonna dig into this wall here. I'm pretty sure this is the right area. Thankfully it opens up and I kind of know what I'm doing. The problem from entering in this direction is I'm not gonna get a whole bunch of pigs next to me to trade. So I'm gonna go back up these staircases towards like the center of the bastion and mine three more gold blocks. One, to just get three more gold blocks, but two, hopefully anger all of the piglins in the vicinity to trade with them. Now you'll see my hop bar. I only get two gold blocks. I mind three. I'm thinking to myself, uh oh. As I mentioned before, we're playing on the same world and have the same luck. So if we both trade a hundred gold, we'll get the exact same loot out of it. And I just misplaced one of my gold blocks. So I'm, I'm really hoping that doesn't screw me over and ranked matches your you're like guaranteed to get at least 10 obsidian just so you can kind of play out the seed oh i, I missed throw my my gold here too so things things are going great not much we can do about that gold block though so you know control the things you can control in life gonna craft up these last three bits of gold and then i'm gonna miss again <laughs> like what am i doing and before i forget uh what i like to do in bastion since it's kind of the same every single time is talk about what I, what have i been up to in life i got invisalign basically like a clear set of braces i actually had braces as a kid but it was only on like the first front four of my teeth and only for a couple months so i remember the dentist being like hey you'll probably need this at some other point in your life and when i finished that set of braces in elementary they asked do you do you want to do the next set me being an elementary student though i was like heck no dude that's just pain and suffering future me can worry about that i'm fine 
Um, so I'm now future me getting Invisalign. I wanted to mention this because if you notice that I have a lisp, that is kind of why. I don't think I have a lisp. I, I'm probably speaking slightly differently and I'll probably get more used to it. But if you haven't noticed it so far, uh, I think Invisalign's doing a pretty good job. And growing up, braces weren't the only thing I had dental-wise. I had, I had those braces, but then I also had a massive underbite as a kid. So I had to wear a face mask at night for maybe like two years or something. No, it was probably only a year, if I'm being honest. I remember I had these like rubber bands that I had to change every single night. And as I progressed throughout the, I don't know, the session of face masks, I would get stronger rubber bands, I don't know. Then after, I had a spider retainer. Kind of a weird name for a retainer. But speaking of spiders, we have 20 obsidian. Aren't my, I'm, I'm great with those transitions. <laughs> Anyways, I've, I've thrown them the last bits of gold, hoping to get maybe another fire resistance potion. The main thing is string. I need some more string. I can only make two beds right now. And if you know anything about uh, Minecraft speedrunning, you need four. You need four explosives. How am I gonna kill the Ender Dragon? I'm I'm not gonna try to think about that though, because we're entering the fortress. I need to go quickly. And I think I play this pretty well. I purposely overshot my pearl just so I could see a bit further. I recognize that that wasn't the good part of the fortress. I need to find the Blaze Spawner, which I do, and I get here pretty quickly. As soon as I kill this Blaze, I've already spotted my next spawner and some more strays that I can snag along the way. There aren't a ton of like stray mobs around though. Ideally, you want a ton of them and you do that by lowering your render distance. I didn't do that super effectively, but I'm gonna be grabbing this tree along the way. So I'm like, oh, time safe here. I was actually like pretty proud of this. I was like, there's no way my opponent is getting trees on the way to getting his blazes. This is a genius move. No, I, I have all of the wood I need. I don't know what I am doing. <laughs> but at this moment, I turn around and see like a billion mobs around. I've been trying very hard to play safer recently. So I was like, you know what? I'll just jump across this bridge over to where the other wither skeletons are, where stuff is shooting me <laughs> and trying to kill a blaze. Thankfully it works out, but I, I don't know if I should have done that. It was kind of a cool play though. I'm pretty pleased with how I play this fortress. I'm thinking I'm making up time on this person. But if you'll notice in the top right, it says finding stronghold. That means they've left the nether, they're finding a stronghold. But it's not even that bad, actually, because you can leave the nether with one blaze rod. You need six, right? Since we're going to be building two portals to get to the stronghold, it doesn't really matter if you build your first portal with one blaze rod versus five, which is what I'm doing. Not the fastest blind time in the world. 732 is, I think, what it's going to land at. But something that you should know about ranked speedrunning is your timer still goes when the game is paused because it's like you're racing somebody in real time. Normally that isn't the case, it's just strictly how long you're playing Minecraft, but since we're racing somebody in real time, this is kind of how you do it. Also, you'll see in the top left, some measurements. This is what I talk about usually when I'm measuring the eye to see where the stronghold is and getting percentages. It just went away, it'll, it'll come back in a second. I finally got this on screen so you guys can see how close the stronghold is, which is a thousand blocks away. So thank goodness we have 20 obsidian. In some runs, you won't get 20 obsidian or you'll like leave early and you don't have 20, which wouldn't be great in this case. Now, we just need to get back to our portal. So I'm gonna take some some gravel and we're just gonna start pillaring back up. You could have technically like thrown a pearl on the floating portal and block clutched it on the side. That might have saved some time, but sometimes I've just like missed those pearls and I generally want to play safer when I'm playing ranked because if you die, you just like lose the entire <laughs> match. So we're back in the nether around the 830 minute mark, which is wow, I guess was that really an entire minute? Dang. But we need one more blaze rod and get it first try. So I just got to beeline it to exact coordinates in the, in the nether. If you're off by one block, it's not going to work. And I probably waste a little bit of time here. I really wish I'd thrown another pearl in the correct direction. We're just going to go down this hill, but I don't. And I think a lot of that is because normally I have more time to think about it. I'll, I'll usually be killing another blaze so I can kind of think about how far I need to go. So that's probably something I can practice. But we're basically at the cords and our opponent hasn't entered the stronghold either. So I'm like, oh, we're, we're ahead. I mean, we're on fire for a second, but a sub 10 minute stronghold to enter, I think that's pretty solid for ranked. Um, then he enters the, the stronghold. So we are behind. And if you're behind this late into a run, it's kind of hard to make it back. So we gotta go speedy. I'm placing this obsidian. Hopefully you don't misplace. That's like the saddest thing in a speed run. If you just misplace one bit of it and your, your whole run's just screwed. I was watching like one of the top contenders for world record right now on a super cool speed run but he just misplaced one piece of obsidian and it ruined the entire thing. Anyways, tangent aside, we're in the stronghold. And at this point, 
I don't even know if I have enough explosives to kill the dragon, but if you see in the chat, my opponent just entered the end. I gotta go, man. Send it or lose. Thankfully, I make it into the stronghold, and we're only entering the end like 20 seconds behind. But at this point, it's like, well, he's got to mess something up, or you've got to play really well to win this match. Ideally, I would have liked to do this thing called a zero cycle, but I needed more, more bets, more explosives to do it. It's just a quicker way to kill the dragon. Not only do I got to be speedy, though, I got to be smart i still haven't cr crafted all of my explosives so i'm gonna craft my my string thankfully i have six well i'm like oh my gosh i can actually beat the game i have enough explosives because i can make two respawn anchors and two beds that's four explosives total let's do that we got to be quick about this though because if you don't place your respawn anchors qu quick enough you could get screwed over um just by some like rng of the dragon perching so i'm like boom obsidian obsidian respawn anchor respawn anchor glowstone glowstone let's go <laughs> Um, what I'm doing here, though, is probably something you haven't seen me do before. I'm going to be shooting down some of the crystals. So, in a normal speedrun, like random seed, you don't do this because technically it's faster. But if you shoot down all the crystals, it's more consistent for the dragon to come down to the center. So, you, you pretty much want to do this in all ranked games. Lots of the time, your opponent won't do this, so you're pretty much just guaranteed to win. But in the chat, my opponent did do this. And this is where the conundrum of this run comes in. I'm like, well, should they have won by this point? I don't really know. I do know that I haven't crafted my beds yet, though. So I'm like, oh, frick. Get my crafting table out. Go, 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 go. Quick, the dragon could be perching. Is it perching? Oh, no. We're good. We're totally fine. Psych! The dragon is perching! I throw my pearl. It hits an enderman, so I have to sprint all the way to the front. I have to pick the right side. Explode one bed. Boom. We're good. Explode another bed. It's not a bed. What am I doing? Commentary. Ah! ah we, we barely managed to get the win off, though. I have, like, three more hits on this dragon. So as long as I don't accidentally close the world or look at an enderman, which I have done both before, we should win this game. So GG to Ema, who I played. I hope I pronounced that right. I think I might have also called you a guy, so apologies if you aren't a guy. I've seen a lot of people saying, Rec, you should make a speedrunning tutorial. And I've tried twice, but haven't really liked how it's turned out. So I honestly probably need more motivation to make it. I don't, I don't know how many people want it. If you want it, let me know. Also, what rank are we? We are 105, so we could get in the tournament. I think we can do it, as long as I don't get on a massive losing streak. So I'll try to keep it up, but I hope you guys have a super epic, fantastic day, and I will talk to you later. Peace.